Yes, hello. This will be a short video. Uh, it is just a follow up for the Copilot Gauge visual, uh, visualization. And uh, I've done a few updates. This is the original. Is this the, yes, this is the original one. As we can see, it's fine, but uh, let me show you the latest one. The which is using now Flask Socket IO. Yes, Flask Socket IO. I choose a dash as the other one, and for for all three endpoints, we are using a generic uh, HTML file. Before the endpoints were coded on the same file, now we are using a HTML generic uh, template, which needs to be saved in the template folder. Uh, all the files are already in GitHub and I will yes I will add the link somewhere anyway let me go to the main file main Python file so this is just as the previous version all the cards are neatly organized yes here as well everything is already nicely organized yes these are the update gorge in real time the callbacks these are the routes in oh no no i'm not i mean this is just a it's just a comments anyway uh CPU, memory, and disk. They are all using the generic .html file. The endpoints to be accessed via, is it on the HTML file? Yes, I think so. And the socket IO emit, yes. I mean, it's really, really nice. And this is the generic.html file. And uh, as we can see here, we are using the URL parameter. I was trying to use the emit to get the parameters, but for now I'm using the URL in here. Yes html as a link and then we use this parameter in the url as we can see here nice if we just change for memory memory great or disk But if we click on the visualization itself, it uses this, this link, yeah, disk, and CPU, this is so nice. Yeah, I think that's it. Oh yes, it's working as well. Thanks. Bye.